Okay, hey, so I got a, my dryer here that was squeaking really bad. Um, and what's going on was uh, not when it had a heavy load, you know, any kind of load in general. Hey, down here. Where are you, please? Um, so I'm going to show you how to pull apart this thing and look and see. No, I'll show you what happened. So what you do is open the door here. I already have it all taken apart. But I'll show you how it works. There's two screws. Phillips head screw that goes in, screws into this top cover right here. There's one right here. Okay, you just unzip those screws, then you pull the cover off. Oh, yeah. And the cover off. The color, cover's got hooks in the back that you just grab. Locks in there, you, you know, you just put it in. Now, and then on this, I'll show you what happens. Here, come here, dude. So and then there's two screws. screws. There's two screws that sit right here that go in from the side that screw into the front that hold the front cover on. And then there's another one over here. This screws in this one and holds the cover on. So what happened was, you can see it. This is the drum for the thing as it turns. It sits inside this channel on this front door here. So what happened was it started pulling out a little bit and um, getting cockeyed, uneven. So what happens is it started squeaking down below because as the drum tilted, the, uh, the fan motor down below on the, the motor, there's a motor down below here with a fan fan pulley on it. When I pull it off, I'll show you. That was started hitting on the, the cover for this. So, and that was pretty much because this whole thing was, was crooked. So, once you got those two screws out on the side, this whole thing just pulls out. Okay? So, the drum, it, the drum has the belt on it still, and then there's a notch, a square shaft in the back that the, the, the motor drive, or the, the idle pulley sits inside of. So, then you get this off. I already got the switch disconnected for the door. Just two terminals here. And it goes on to this switch, you pull this back. Just the stake on there and a stake on there. You wanna put it on the normally, the common and then the normally close, normally open switch because as you close the door, it put, it turns it into a normally, uh, to a closed circuit, which allows you to run the machine. So you see this fan down below here? Pull this out. When the drum started going down, it started hitting down this and this part of this lip started hitting on this part and the fan I had to push that in and kind of tighten that up but yeah it's good now see how it starts squeaking so that squeaking you're hearing was the inside of this hitting on that because this cover also there's a felt pad here that sits inside um, and it started coming out a little bit so when that happened it just allowed the drum to, to shift in so check this felt pad the drum's gonna sit inside this and then right on top. And then if you look here, there's these little pads. I gotta get new, new ones of those now. Cause they started shredding from the whole drum coming off this thing. So that's what you do. Um, it's important to clean out the lint always, always on the front of it because you see all this garbage? This is from the lint going down inside here and collecting up inside. So always clean your lint tray out all the time cause eventually it'll clog up and get inside. And get in here. I mean, there was a lid up here, down this, wedged in there. So, but that's what we do. So, I'm gonna put it back together now. So, when I put it in, I'll kind of show you real briefly. We'll put it back together like this, clean it all out real good. Um, oh, it's close to it. So, we put it back in. There's notches on the bottom of the dryer. See those notches in each corner? They're just gonna sit inside the, the panel here. Put this switch back. Um, you can either remember which one you pulled it off of, or if you forgot, you know, just know that it's a normally open switch, and when the door closes, it becomes a closed switch. So we put one on uh, the closed terminal here. If I can get that, there we go. Oops. Okay, and then one on the common. There we go, now we're good. Put that back in. Now, we're gonna go like this. Let me show you how it works. Push it in. Take this drum, push it all the way back. There's, a, there's an idler pulley in the back that it sits inside of for the center. So, okay, then what you're gonna do is put the shoot down here, pick the drum up, push it in, make sure that you're tight and closed on both sides. 
and that your bottom's locked in. Okay, then we're gonna get our screws. Okay, right behind you. Put it in the screw here. Okay, got that one. Okay, got that. Now, we can do a cycle run on it. Now, if you look here, it's gonna have a little bit of play. See that? That's good. It's riding in there nicely. So now it's plugged in, we're gonna turn it on. There you go. See, it, watch your fingers, get back. I don't wanna touch it. No. So, make sure it's riding in there nicely. It's not coming off there. You want to shift it a little bit, make sure. But it's good. So it was real squeaky. It sounded like there was a mouse in there. So yeah, so that's how you do it. Now when we put it back together, make sure our door switch works. There we go, it's off. So now when we want to put it back, the cover back on, there's notches on the top. We just lock into those. And then like that. Lock it in. Let's make sure it's tight. And then where do the screws go. Now there's one and there's two. So the screw's gonna go in like that. Get the hole caught like that. Over here. Again, make sure that everything's closed up and tight. Get it through and that catches in there. See that? Zap it. It's, uh, it's really easy. Okay. Put our loop tray back in. And that's it. And that's how you uh, take it apart. If you have any other problems with it, what you do is you pull off, like you had to get the motor and all that stuff. You pull off that front metal cover that was underneath there that had the fan shroud part. You can get to the gas valve, you can get to the motor pulley down below. Um, and so on. So yeah, that's how you do it. Let's do it again. Turn it on. Quiet. A lot quiet than it was. I mean, it sounded like squeak, squeak, squeak. So that's it. Um, the model of this dryer, I mean, it's a simple it's gas GE dryer. I don't even know where the model number is at. Um, oh, it's probably faded out. Don't worry about it. But yeah, just a simple old school gas dryer. Very important to make sure these stay clean because if it doesn't, it will go down inside there and clog up that stuff. So I pulled a lot of lint out of it, even in the, the blower fan part. All this crap was in there, caked in there pretty bad. So, very important to always keep it clean. So, that's it. Um, that's how you, that's one way you can get rid of squeakiness. If you do have other squeaks, it might be the uh, the motor pulley, the belt going out. Um, 